Hi, my name is Perry from Mason Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to use the bridge theme and edit the settings for a header to add a header area so into your website. Um, that can be kind of confusing. So this is an example without a header. This just has the normal uh, navigation menu items and then some of the social media is displaying in a, a bottom header probably on the right. So that there are some options applied, but maybe you want an additional header. A good example of this would be this is our Mason Digital Marketing website. So it has Right here at the top, it has our, our name and our, our address and our phone number and social media. Helps with SEO. You can get customers can have the info right away. And if you notice, if I scroll down, it goes away, right? You can either have that continue to show or go away um, in the options. So we'll show you how to do that now. Uh, the first thing you want to do is log into the back end of your website. Scroll all the way down to the code options. And then you can click into the options or select it from the, the hover over. So for code options, we're then going to go to header not general and let's see what's already applied here so um, we have the header and then we're gonna go down to menus okay so and you also what the header is going to be using is actually the widgets area of the web of your website so I'm gonna open that in a new page so I'll hover over appearance appearance on the side then we're going to open widgets. I just held down command click to open that new tab, but you can just click on it if you want or right click to open a new tab. Um, and now we're going to do these are the options there by default. Uh, Bridge puts a bunch of these widget options on the side, but I believe it's header bottom right. There's all of our social icons. So the first one is going to be a Facebook icon, and that's what we see, right? So the other ones are going to be empty. Maybe they'll have something like the top right, nothing. So we want to turn on top right and we want to put in some maybe some custom HTML. Okay? And we're just going to put in here a paragraph. Some paragraph text and put in our number. Okay? And then you can do what do you want to do for that? And then we'll save. If we get this to work correctly, it'll be black. But that's okay. We'll just add a little bit of style and do color white. Fair enough. So now we have the header top. Again, this is what I'm working in with the custom HTML. You can put in whatever else you want to put in there, social media icons. But for now, I just want to put the phone number. And let's go find the header top. So there it is. So I'm using Command F to quickly find it. There's menu options down here, so in this case you can just click header top and we want to show that area. Hit yes. And then yes, we do want to hide it on scroll or no, you don't, depending on what you need. And then um, on the mobile too, they give you that option. So if the mobile it's a pretty a large area, I keep it in there. A lot of times like a login, if you have a WooCommerce membership site, I like to have a login right there ready for customers or a membership site. And um, anyways, that's it. So we're going to hit save settings. Back to the home page. And I clicked on contact, but that's okay. We'll go back to the home. Okay, so it is applying. It looks like there's extra space here, but we're not getting the right one to show up. So we got the header top and the header bottom. Um, let's see, header top right. And hide on scroll. So applies to the header left and right. So I put it in the wrong one. So I was wrong. So header top right, we want to do the header, um, the, or was I correct? Header left and right. So header, header, header. I believe we're in the right one. And let's hit save again on this. I don't see any text there. So let's see if still missing something enabled hide on scroll and I'm going to hit save again refresh there it is so I'm not quite sure um, with text or anything I did a bit of a hard refresh um, a hard refresh is just on a Mac command shift R or you can do um, Control shift r on a PC or open it in an incognito window um, 
and like this you can do open a new window to kind of help with your caching depending on your server this is a test site so a little bit different so there's the phone number there's spacing you can affect um, all those options where you now can see them padding percentages or use custom CSS etc so hopefully this was helpful for you to better understand how to add some extra options there and you can see that it disappears here when you scroll um, the site looks like it's loading again this is a demo site but um, it disappears when you, you scroll so hopefully this is helpful to you and um, hope to see you on the next videos thanks so much for watching